This video might make you reconsider your next meal choice. Today, we're diving into a countdown of fast food scandals that have slipped from public memory. Hey everyone, welcome to Top 10 Binge, where we're exploring a series of controversies and incidents involving restaurants, fast food chains, and various food brands. Number 9 Subway Chicken From the 6-inch chicken teriyaki sub to the foot-long chicken breast, chicken options at Subway made customers believe they were getting pure chicken. But, a 2017 DNA test by a Canadian news program disclosed that Subway's oven-roasted chicken had just 53.6% chicken content, and the rest was soy. Subway argued that the report was incorrect and sued CBC Marketplace for $210 million, claiming defamation and misinformation. Despite Subway's claim that chicken is 100% white meat, this incident sparked numerous controversies. Number 8 M and M's and its iconic red candy. Before Tucker Carlson's critique of M and M's, the candy faced a strange dispute. Between 1976 and 1987, the famous red color disappeared from M and M's packaging. The FDA banned red dye number two, leading to removing the red color from M and M's packaging, even though they used other red dyes, numbers three and 40. The manufacturer discontinued the red color due to widespread confusion and concerns. Surprisingly, even without red, Americans maintained their love for M&Ms. In the 1980s, M&Ms introduced the astronaut orange as a substitute, but customers still craved the iconic red color. Though red made an occasional appearance during holidays, it led to criticism, with people claiming, why do I have to buy a whole year's supply? After an 11-year break, Red M and M made a successful return, becoming the iconic face of the brand. It was back in demand as the fear surrounding red dye had faded from the public's memory. Number 7 Eating Horse In 2013, Europe's food industry faced trouble when horse DNA was found in beef burgers and lasagnas sold in multiple grocery stores. The discovery of horse DNA in supermarkets like Tesco, Iceland, and Lidl impacted businesses across the UK. Ireland, Poland, and France. The ABP Food Group and its subsidiaries, notably Silvercrest, had connections with supermarkets and Burger King. This raised concerns about the impact on the supply chain. The Burger King's meat's DNA tests did not detect horse meat, but low levels were found in samples from the Silvercrest plant. This forced Burger King to break off ties with Silvercrest, and this incident highlighted serious supply chain issues. However, no health risks were found. Number 6 Bubble Yum's Ingredient In 1975, Bubble Yum made a grand entrance and quickly became a sensation in school playgrounds across America. By its second year, it became famous for its mysterious ingredient, probably spider eggs, contributing to its delightful chewiness. The rumors increased the concerns about viruses and cancer, but no evidence existed. Lifesavers, the manufacturer, took action and hired private investigators to eliminate these stories. Despite the speculations, Bubble Yum maintained its immense popularity and became a childhood favorite. The spider egg narrative gradually became insignificant. Number 5 Sanders Lawsuit After Colonel Sanders sold TFC in 1964, he sued the company for using his image to sell new products, including a cheaper recipe that replaced his classic chicken. He opened Claudia Sanders, the Colonel's Lady Dinner House and filed a $122 million lawsuit against TFC's parent company, eventually settling. Sanders later sold his restaurant, ensuring his original recipe continued to be served. Number 4 Domino's Unhygienic Practice In April 2009, Domino's Pizza gained popularity for all the wrong reasons. Five YouTube videos became viral, showing Domino's employee named Michael Anthony Setzer using unhygienic practices with his nose and buttocks on pizza toppings. This shocking action and a companion, Christy Lynn Ham Settlingman, faced much criticism in North Carolina. Their misguided belief that the videos were just a joke underestimated the power of the internet. The footage quickly got millions of views and caught the media's attention. Despite claims that the contaminated food was never served, the consequences were severe. Both employees faced criminal charges for food contamination, resulting in prison and substantial fines. While Domino's eventually recovered from this disaster, this incident is a clear reminder of how social media blunders can destroy fortunes. Number 3. The Radioactive Oatmeal 
Fred Boyce, abandoned during childhood, was sent to the Walter E. Fertile Developmental Center due to some developmental disabilities. People there, including Boyce, didn't receive the proper care they deserved. Aspiring for a better life, Boyce joined the science club, which was entitled to a free breakfast. Little did the students know that their oatmeal contained radioactive tracers. Fed to more than 70 kids, this experiment was part of a nutrition study that MIT and Quaker Oats sponsored. Although this happened in the 40s and 50s, it wouldn't come to light until the 90s when Boyce and others affected received a sizable settlement. Number 2 Selling of Expired Meat In 2014, it was discovered that the Shanghai Husey Food Company was supplying expired meat to prominent chains such as Burger King, KFC, McDonald's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, and Starbucks throughout China. Investigations revealed that employees at Husey were repackaging and selling chicken and beef that had exceeded their expiry dates. The contaminated meat was even sold to other countries like Japan. This led to legal issues and the loss of major clients. Despite originating in China, the parent company OSI Group, based in Chicago, raised worldwide concerns. Number 1 McDonald's and Sichuan Sauce Back in 1998, McDonald's introduced this sauce as part of a promotional campaign for Disney's New Land. It then faded into the background until a 2017 episode of Rick and Morty brought it back into the spotlight. This led McDonald's to get the sauce back about six months later, but they underestimated its popularity. The sauce was available for one day and only at select locations, each receiving a mere 20 packets. The limited availability led to chaos, with one incident in Los Angeles involving the police being called to manage a crowd of 300 customers clamoring for the sauce. Since then, McDonald's has returned the sauce several times, but in much larger quantities. And that's a wrap. Which of these scandals did you know about? Let us know in the comment section below. To get more from the world of top 10s, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next one.